Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks again for joining me on Glamour with Jenny. And the other day I did a Makeup for Dummies video and it got cut off short. I was having some technical difficulties. Sorry I didn't catch that. Thanks for the guys that let me know um, what was going on with that. So we're going to pick up where I lost, left off with the blush. So basically all I've done is gone ahead and put on my primer, foundation, contouring with the bronzer, highlighting, and the blush. So that's where we're at right now. As you can see, I've already done my blush. Now with the highlighter, um, since we cut off at the blush, usually I highlight afterwards. I use Too Faced Candlelight, which is a white shimmery powder, as you can see there. And all I do is um, take a angled blush brush, we can call it a contouring brush. Everybody calls them something different. And I just make a V here. This is also known as strobing, which is the new end thing. So if you have perfect cheek bones and structure, you don't have to worry about doing the, the highlighting with the, or contouring with the bronzer. So anyways, I'm doing my cheekbones here, my nose, tip of my nose, and my chin. And that just helps brighten up your face and everything. I do a little bit under my eyes in case I'm a little tired looking or whatever. The only thing I did different today, instead of using the Rimmel bronzer, I used Benefit's Hula which comes in this cute little box and has this little um, flat brush with it, which is fabulous because it's flat, can get great angle on straightening up that nose. So that's the only thing I did different today. And I used a translucent powder over my liquid makeup, which, the, which was the Kat Von D. So I used the L'Oreal um, True Match Naturale, and this is the translucent powder. And I used to use my regular powder brush just like we did the um, Neutrogena Sheer Minerals. So, this is where we're at, okay? So, now we're going to get our flat, this is the bronzer brush, I like to call it my Kabuki brush. Flat Kabuki brush are fabulous because they're great for blending. So, we're going to start here in the nose, do around, like so. Then start on one cheek, then the other, and just blend those um, bronzer and blush out. Don't forget to be on the neck and around the forehead. Okay, now your face is set. It's perfect. Looks great. Next thing to do is our eyes. So, um, what I'm going to do use today is the um, Urban Decay Naked Palette. This is the first one. It's my, one of my favorite go-to palettes, as you can see there. And this is um, great. You can pick this up at Sephora or Ulta, either one. And so I am going to start with my Sonia Kushak. Um, it's a eyeshadow brush. It's a nice flat one. You can see it here. And I'm going to go into um, this naked color here. And I am going to apply that all over my entire lid. This is going to give me a nice base coat. Give me something to blend all my colors into. So we're going to start with two colors and then we'll add on from there so you can try to decide what you want, what you're trying to achieve, what you want to look like, um, and that kind of thing. So we've got that on. Now I'm going to get a crease brush um, or a little smaller brush. You can see the difference between the sizes on um, these two brushes here. So we're going to take this one and I'm going to go into the Dark Horse. You could also use Smog, um, just one that's darker than what you have. So if you have two colors, take the darker color of the two, and you're just going to make a V right here. So to go down and then into your natural crease line, just follow it around. So it's kind of like a modified V. Okay, let's do the other side. And just follow your natural crease line. So now, all you have to do if you just want to go with these two colors, take a little bit more of your naked and then just blend that upper lid just a tiny bit so it's not so stark. Okay, and just work it up into the brow. Okay, so now you have two colors blend here on the lid. Always make sure you blend very well. And as you can see, I'm just using two brushes here. Okay? Thank you. So, this is two colors. This, you can go with this and leave this, but I think this is just too much of a difference between these two colors. So I'm going to take my um, blender brush here. This is a Sonia Kushet brush. Thank you, sweetheart. 
and I am going to take this buck color, which you can see this is the naked and this is the buck right here. And so I'm just going to go into that buck. And these are all matte colors except for the dark horse had aluminum shimmer into it. So this kind of gives you a nice basic palette. And I'm just going back and forth on this eyelid, just kind of making a transition between the naked and the dark horse. So this is three colors. Let's see here. Much better. Okay, so that's just three colors. Now, if you really want to brighten up your eye, make it look more open, you want to add a light color, so which is a highlighting color. And so we're going to take this virgin here, which is a very creamy um, color here, and we're going to follow our brow bone like so to the other side. And this is Elf Smudger Brush which I just love to use for this because I just feel like it gets what I want. Then we're going to take a little bit more and we're going to go in the inner corner of our eye, blend that up into there, and then down into the tear duct and follow the bottom lash line. And just blend that in using the same brush. So, there you go. That's four colors. Now, if you really want to knock it up a little bit more, we're going to take this creep color here, which is a black. You're like, oh no, I can't do black. You'll be amazed at what this black is going to do, because it's really going to open the eye up, it's really going to make it pop, and you're just going to be amazed. So, we're just going to take it, and we're going to dab it right on the corner of our outer eye. Now, remember, if you're not using a high-end pigmented eyeshadow like... Um, Urban Decays, then you want to make sure that you take and you cover this area here. So if you have a fan brush or a tissue or something, lay it underneath your eye here while you're doing your eyeshadow so that none of these pigments fall on your cheek and then when you go to wipe them away, you've got a big mess. That's why I absolutely love Urban Decays pigments, I mean eyeshadows, because they're so fully pigmented. You see I'm just going in one time and it's covering fabulously, not having to worry with everything and I didn't use an eye primer or a setting spray. I'm just putting this on and when I'm through I'm going to use a setting spray all over and I don't have to worry about anything going anywhere. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back with the original brush and back into my naked and I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and blended together so I don't have any thick lines or confusing lines. Okay and I'm going to run that down under my eye here. Um, so I don't have to um, eyeline, put an eyeliner on there. So if you're not great with the eyeliner, don't worry about it. You can get the illusion of making the eye pop a little bit more. So we've ran our white halfway through, which opens it up, and we've done the darker to make those lashes look a little bit darker. Eyes are done. That was five colors, guys. Super, super easy. Now before I do my um, eyeliner and mascara, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. So this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, brow pencil. It is called Perfect Brow and I'm going to be doing a video on brow products here after a while once I get my latest product in which is a pomade because as you get older your hairs kind of do crazier things. Um, I actually worked on my brows last night. So all I'm doing here is I'm just filling in my brows to make them look a little bit darker. Um, if you're just new to doing brows start off with a blonde pencil and work from there. Um, everybody needs to do their brows and to make because that just frames your eyes. So I'm just following what I've got here, filling that in, concentrating on my arch. And as you can see, one of my eyebrows is less than the, is not as arched as the other. So I give it the illusion that it is. Nice thing is with a pencil is I'm doing light, soft motions, pressing hard. Is that this can it doesn't like powders fall into your eyes and a pencil does it and you can actually kind of blend it here with what you have on your skin with this brush. So, brows are done. Just need to do a little bit more. Feel it in just a little bit more so they match. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Just kind of make it pop where you've got it. Now, eyeliner and mascara and we're almost done guys. Okay, so eyeliner. 
I'm going to show you the easiest eyeliner for anybody. You don't have to have a sharpener or anything. And it's got a little glitter in it, and glitter is in, so yay. So we're using Smashbox Always Sharp um, Eyeliner. It's kind of like a crayon, but you just twist the lid off, and it's always sharp. So you get this nice, great line every time you pull it out. I'm not going to wing out, so I'm just going to follow my natural lash line. Go as, fat, as far down as you can go. Instead of pressing your whole hand on your face, make sure your hands are clean. You don't have anything on it. Put your finger pinky on here and then just use that to steady your hand. So you're not having to worry about your hand shaking or being nervous or stabbing yourself in the eye. You're just using that pinky just to guide your hand, to relax it, to steady it. So all I've done is just line that upper lid like so and as you see it's got a nice great point on it I don't have to worry about sharpening it or getting too dull it goes on nice and easy I wasn't pressing hard as you can see just really simple and um, you can go in as far as you can into the corner as you like and one of my eyes I can line close and this one for some reason I can't close it lined line it closed let me get to say that right I said it backwards Okay, so now we're on to mascara. And again, I'm going to use my, one of my favorites right now, which is Lancome's Grandiose. And again, it's got the cool um, bendy brush on it. Now, trick on doing your mascara. You know how when you do your upper lids and then you go do your bottom lids, you always end up with those little black dots on here? Secret is, do your bottom lashes first. So, you can do it this way, and then you can end up struggling with it, getting all those little bee lashes, or you can take your brush and run it across the lashes there. Makes, picks up all the little stray hairs and like so. And then straighten them out and spread them out with your mascara brush. So then we're gonna do the upper lid. Now, if you'll see, I'm not actually moving my brush that much. I'm actually blinking into the wand here and that naturally pushes my brushes, my lashes through the little brush there. And so it's naturally combing them, separating them, and covering all the hairs. And I'm just looking down rather than looking up so that I don't hit that upper lid. So if you have a smaller spraker or heavier brow, always do your bottom lid first. And like I said, blink into your wand. And that will help a whole lot. We're almost done, guys. Hang in there. You're doing a great job. You can do this. Makeup is fun. Makeup is your friend. Don't be scared of it. Okay? So, lashes are done. We're almost through. I'm going to do something super easy for you guys just to finish off this look because today's a casual day for me. So, and yes, this is casual makeup. I am going to use Lorax. Lorax. Bejeweled Gloss, and this color is called Hot Pink Sapphire. So, all it is is a gloss. It's a little, um, little brush on the end. Like I said, glitter is in now, so. Let's rock it. Okay. So there's your gloss. Simple, easy makeup that anybody can do. So it's makeup for dunny, dummies. Um, you can always go back and touch anything up that you need to, blend anywhere you need to. But I have to say, it's pretty easy. I think you guys can do it. Um, we didn't have to line your lips. All you had to do was a little bit of eyeliner, as you can see how what a difference it made on that. You can choose how many eyeshadows you want to use. Use what you got, start what you got build on what you have and then over time you can start your makeup collection if that's what you um, want to do. I am a makeup junkie and um, a friend of mine just came over and she was like, oh my gosh, you have so much makeup. She's like, what are you going to do with all this? I was like, well, I use it. So, um, stay tuned. We're going to be doing some more videos pretty soon. Thanks for um, tuning into my channel and don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share. So, stay fabulous. Mwah.